The lone bright spot was probably junior pitcher Chase Adkins, and he will pitch Sunday against LSU. He's only given up one run and 21 innings pitched this year, and he said he must continue to be successful to help this team win. I mean, you saw a big change with the head coach. I mean, he was not in a good mood after their blowout loss in game two on Saturday, but they came out on Sunday. Whatever he said to them definitely made a difference, and they played much, much better. Hey, everyone, I'm Mark Cochran here at SunTrust Park, where the Georgia Bulldogs are about to take on the Missouri Tigers in the rubber match of this three-game series. As you can see, this park is phenomenal. The fan experience has been great so far, and the Bulldogs are getting to play here even before the Braves play a regular season game here. This is the first public event at this stadium, and I think it's a great day for baseball, as you can see, and we'll, we'll be following you the entire game, showing you around the park. The real struggle for the Bulldogs was their pitching. Um, Kevin Smith started the game, uh, game one, um, and then Chase Adkins did have a good game. He recovered nicely in the third game. But overall, UJ pitchers walked 19 batters this weekend and committed eight wild pitches and hit four batters. So they really have to tighten up the starting pitching if they're going to succeed in the future. Thanks, Celia and Cam. Things have not gone Georgia baseball's way this season, and spring break certainly didn't help. The Bulldogs went four and five over the break and have yet to capitalize on an 11-game homestand. Pitching and defense have been the main problem for the Bulldogs. The pitching staff has a combined 4.58 ERA and has surrendered 20 wild pitches this season. We are right down here next to the Bulldogs dugout. As you can see, everyone is having a great time being here at SunTrust Park. It's an incredible experience for these players and coaches. And also, Missouri's on here on the field warming up. Georgia just finished their warm up, and we're trying to keep our head on a swivel down here just in case balls come in in this area. As you can see, we're right next to all of the action. There's fans down here. The, the stadium's starting to fill up. It's going to be a great game here.